Oh, hello guys. I'm back again. Hello YouTubers. How are you guys today? I also uh, want to talk about the tornado we had yesterday. I hope you guys are okay in the uh, west coast of the uh, United States. Hope you guys are okay in New York and stuff and all those own places that got hit. I, I, I am very worried about you guys. I normally don't like when people they get hurt or anything from tornadoes and stuff. But I hope you guys are okay. I really uh, let my heart out for you guys. I, you guys need any help, like I said, uh, look me up on YouTube and I could probably help you guys. But the own, um, the reason why I'm doing this video is to talk about how to use a battery, uh, a battery to charge and power your devices. Now, of course, not everything can be powered on one device. Well, I can show you my setup on what I am talking about. Right now I have a flashlight that has a 12 volt battery. I have my inverter, it's actually considered a car inverter to take a cigarette outlet to convert from uh, DC to AC. I also have my iPod to test the charging and I also have a lamp or light to show you on how to use as a power source as well guys. This is case if the power does go out, what do you do if you don't have a generator? Now, I don't got a generator. They're too expensive for me, guys. Well, I got one option. Batteries. Use some D-cycle batteries, guys. Big, giant car batteries. You can also use those, too. Well, let's turn the camera around and show you my setup for you guys. Well, it was my setup. Like I said, my lamp, three bulbs, comes out to 100 and, 180 uh, amps. Too much for that little guy to handle. I will plug that in and show you what 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 happens. Well, there is my flashlight with big giant 12 volt battery inside. Well, this is a non-battery. This is only a 6-volt battery. This is also just a DC. Just a regular DC battery. Well, let's set up my station and show you what I am doing. Well, I'm going to plug my female cigarette outlet into the plug here. Now, these connectors, eh, come on. Well, these connectors are only a 12 volt source, anyways. Well, this is kind of, there you go. Sorry, guys, that took me a while to get connected. Well, these connectors are only designed for 12 volts, not really high stuff. Well, we're going to unplug my girdle. See? DC. DC. Uh. This is a DC call fem uh, male cigarette outlet, female, and a female outlet. This is a inverter, like I said before. It's just a standard 10 amp only inverter. Well, I'm going to plug this in and you're going to hear a beep when it's plugged in. Okay, now it has beeped and it has power to from the DC source of the battery. Now what happens if you plug something too big into it? Well, I'm going to show you that right now. Big, giant lamp. Well, I'm going to attempt to turn my lamp on. Well, it beeped again. Well, you can see... That's the reason why you can't overload the smuggle of the um, device. Um, because it only has 10 amps in it. 
Well, it doesn't power this guy. Too big. Too many light bulbs. Well, and now he said it because it has safe fill on it. Well, let's get on to the charging state. Got my Apple um, plug out. Let's do standard AC plug. Well, my USB cord to plug into my device. Oops. Well, grabbing the on end, the three pin connector end, I'm going to plug it into my iPod to also help to charge my iPod. Now, this kind of gets a little fiddly. Oh, there you go. Now, I now can charge my iPod on DC current. Now, I don't know if this uses sine wave or square wave um, um, uh, uh, stuff. Well, let's see. Let's listen. Well, it's no humming. I don't know any humming on it. Well, let's go ahead and unplug my iPod. Yeah, of course, I know it's not done charging. But I don't want to drain my battery. Well, like I said, this is a way order AC. Normally, this plugs in your AC outlet, but you can also plug it in your DC current case if you have absolutely um, no power or if you don't have a generator. Well, the on option, if you want to use for light, would be this guy. Yeah, let's go and move it down. Okay. <clears throat> this is what I built. It's, uh, it's completely AC. Well, you guys would be amazed on how well this little device can actually power a AC devices because that's what this is designed to do. Well, we're going to flip the switch one. Well, there you go. The light completely works just fine. Now, if you guys want to use a Edison light bulb, now, this is just a standard fluorescent light. No, nothing special. Well, I'm going to remove one of my Edison light bulbs and stick it in the same socket the first light was in. Now, well, this is a 60 watt light bulb, too much for the little device to handle, but when you flip the switch on, well, it gives a beep. Well, it gets bridle. And it starts to beep. Well, the reason why it starts to beep like that, guys, because this light bulb is pulling way too much to the um, inverter to um, power it. Now, this inverter doesn't just power lights or devices like that. You, it can also power certain types of game units, like if you want to play a game. Well, the only downfall with this little inverter is you can't use both of the sockets at the same time. Well, she is a good, great little inverter. Well, like I said, guys. Well, this is a non-option if you guys absolutely don't have a generator like I don't have one this would be a good option for my pal uh, assumption and plus one thing it's not noisy it's not letting off any carbon dioxide or 
gases or anything like that. Don't have to use uh, gas or anything to uh, use this uh, type of setup. This is a completely clean, clean, green, the green energy source right out. Well, I do have a very really long extension cord. Or well, kind of. Like you guys have seen this in my first video. Oh, I was doing this testing. Well, like I said, that uh, Sandy uh, tornado has touched down on Lush today, and and I hope you guys are okay. Well, luckily the power where we live didn't go out. Typically, the power does go out here when we have big giant storms going brrr, blowing that oil. Well, this is one option to use to power light, to even to charge your cell phone, your iPhone, your iPad, or your iPod, or even own devices you prefer to charge. Now one problem with trying to power a telly, too much amps. You need a big one, and plus you need a big old battery. If you all want to wanting a telly to watch uh, the news, the same thing with the cable box, or so do the same thing. Well, one thing I had flashlights prepared, a radio prepared, a um, a battery operated um, radio. Like this old thing. This old thing was uh, I was had it. For, uh, I propelled it in case if we had no way to have no tel uh, no television when we or trying to watch the news or anything. Well, like I said, this is a very good good option here. Now remember one thing. A battery is only a DC only. The reason why it's only DC because that's typically what a battery is. Only a DC only. Well, you need to convert DC to AC. Well, like I said, that's why you need a hand metal. And we're going to plug a 120 a hundred a hundred and twenty uh, two hundred and forty volt outlet and into charging from my DC to AC conversion and it's charging my iPod just fine well like I said guys now this is a good option now if you are living somewhere it don't have power, what do you do? Now, you can buy batteries and you could hook them all up together and stuff. Or you could also buy a generator, but like I said, we don't got a generator. Uh, we only got this. This is a clean energy. This is uh, not noisy. This is safe to use inside the house. And it's a lot safer instead of using a gasoline generator. And well, I can also, like I said, uh, power uh, sorts of different things. I can power lights. I can power that little light I have on my floor. I can power my iPod to charge it. My cell phone. Well, to show you, this does work as a flashlight. Okay, if you guys don't have not seen... See, it works as a flashlight. I said that before. It is a flashlight, but I'm using it as a... I'm using it as a backup uh, battery pack. Kind of like a backup generator. But it's not really a generator. It's really designed to be as a flashlight. But it's been modified to take a 12-volt connection so I can get away with using a cigarette outlet and also using certain types of devices like <clears throat> this AC uh, 
device here. Now, of course, I have built this. Lush, lush today, actually. Well, the reason why I keep on plugging it is to not to drain out my battery too much, guys. Well, you want a good option, and you want a good source of battery options or whatever. Well, you see, power's just fine with the light. Because in Apple, you're taking... Well, you're taking AC um, cord like this. And you're converting DC to AC to power this. Now, of course, it's not backwards. It's not AC to DC. It's DC to AC conversion. Uh, this is a typically a AC style light. Well, I can show you. But it's very really small. This has 11 watts AC, 120 volts to power this uh, little light. Well, I uh, have yeah, to to you guys. A battery bank can also help you guys to do this conversion. Even to power a simple light fixture just like this one. Typically, it's only AC only, but it will just work just fine what you need it to do. Alright guys, I'm going to let you guys go and turn the camera back on to me. Well, like I said, I hope you guys who are on the west coast of the United States, I hope you guys are okay. Kate, you know, the storm hit yesterday. Uh, Sandy, the tornado touched down yesterday. And I hope you guys are okay. Well, this is a known option in case the power does go out. We normally typically do lose power here where I live. And I found, oh, okay, I might as well have, use this as a backup uh, source. Alright guys, I'm going to let you guys go. Subscribe to my channel. Comments below. Like my videos. Please share this video with anybody else out there. Alright, peace out. Bye, guys.